10 Best Picks presents the Top 10 Best Work Laptops. Starting at number 10. HP Chromebook 14-inch. You only need to spend a bit of time with the HP Chromebook 14 to realize that Chromebooks aren't a weak laptop alternatives that many make them out to be. Apple and Windows devices may dominate the market, but this newer type of portable certainly has its place in the world, and this offering from HP only cements that. The HP Chromebook 14 comes with enough features and the kind of performance that might make you consider switching. This machine is for you if all you need is an affordable device that will let you browse online, tackle basic productivity tasks, send emails, and stream shows. And, its gorgeous 14-inch display, quality trackpad, and fantastic keyboard round it up nicely. Oh. And it's blue. Very blue. Like, swimming pool blue. The shade of blue, which HP calls sky blue, looks cool, but it isn't for everyone. A white keyboard and lid offsets all the vibrant blue, though it makes our Chromebook 14 review unit the PC equivalent of a Smurf. Dot you'll find no shortage of inputs on the Chromebook 14. The left edge features an HDMI out port, a security lock slot, a USB 3.0 port, a headphone jack, and a Microsoft card slot. Along the right, you'll find the power connector and two USB 2.0 ports. Ideally, I would have loved if all three USB ports supported USB 3.0, but there's plenty of connectivity for most users. The HP Chromebook 14 is no performance powerhouse, but Chromos's speediness combined with a funky blue case makes this one fun notebook to use. At number 9. Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. Microsoft's answer to the Apple MacBook is the Surface Laptop, an ultra-portable laptop that focuses on comfort and portability, but skips most of the tricked-out features found on some high-end Windows notebooks, such as webcam privacy shutters and watchband-style 360-degree hinges. The Surface Laptop family is expanding, originally comprising a lone 13. 5-inch model with a unique soft gray Alcantara fabric covering its palm rest, the line now includes multiple sizes, color options, configurations, and material choices. The model I'm reviewing here is the sandstone metal version with a 13.5-inch touchscreen and an Intel Core i7 processor. Other chassis color options at this screen size include black, platinum, and cobalt blue. The laptop is also available in a larger 15-inch version which only comes in the first two color options. If all you need is a laptop, though, the Surface Laptop 3 is an excellent one. The supremely sturdy Unibody construction inspires confidence, giving up a bit of weight and size savings, in the name of reassuring build quality. There are lighter and smaller laptops with 13 and 14 inch screens, such as the Acer Swift 7, but they often sacrifice build quality, typing comfort, audio quality, or sometimes all three to achieve their sleekness. The Asus ZenBook 13, whose vanishingly thin screen borders make it a member of the ultra portable laptop Vanguard, measures 0. 7 by 11. 9 by 7. 5 inches and weighs 2. 83 pounds. But even with thicker bezels and some extra screen real estate, the Surface Laptop 3 comes in not far above those measurements, at 0. 57 by 12. 1 by 8. 8 inches. It also weighs the same. Number 8 of my list. HP Spectre X360 15 THP's flagship Spectre line has continually impressed us with its quality, style, and features. This latest iteration of its Spectre X360 15 is the best yet for this big convertible 2-in-1, which retains the charms of the 2019 model, while being smaller and lighter. It's also more powerful. Our $1,849 review unit packs a 6-core Intel Core i7 Comet Lake H-Series processor and NVIDIA Jeffers GTX class graphics, though it's also available at $1,399 with a quad-core Tiger Lake chip, if you don't need all that oomph. Available with a stunning AMOLED 4K UHD touchscreen either way, the Spectre X360 15 is truly a first-class splurge. It earns our editor's choice for being a large screen convertible 2 in 1 without equal. That said, the Spectre X360 15 is still a big slab when used as a tablet. Like most convertible 2 in 1s, its 360 degree functionality is best served on a solid surface, especially in its presentation mode. 
Dot dot this position is great for movie watching. It's also practical in airline coach or in the back of a car where you may not be able to fully unfold a traditional notebook. The screen rotating mechanics aside, the Spectre X360 15 remains the snazziest looking 15. 6 inch convertible 2 in 1 out there. The nightfall black and copper luxe accents of my modeled Rue Easy compliments. Customizable models on HP's site also offer a nautical sounding Poseidon blue with pale brass accents theme. Now trimmer and lighter, HP's Spectre X360 15 is a top of the line convertible 2 in 1 that excels in just about every area. Coming at number 7. Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. The Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 is the sort of gaming machine that gamers have dreamed of for years. Equipped with the latest AMD Ryzen 9 to 4900HS processor and NVIDIA Geforce RTX 2060 Max-Q GPU, it puts a lot of horsepower into its little 14-inch chassis. And its price is reasonable, too, starting at $1049. It's not only one of the best gaming laptops out there, it's one of the best laptops, period. The Zephyrus G14 sounds almost too good to be true. More than 11 hours of battery life, awesome performance for gaming and VR, thermal management that never gets hot to the touch, and a design that can both satisfy gamers and look at home in more professional settings. All this, plus funky personalization features. The Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 is a compact 14-inch gaming laptop that offers plenty of power for a more affordable price than gaming enthusiasts might expect. Starting at $1,049 and ranging up to $1,999, the Zephyrus G14 provides a ton of value in its sleek little chassis. Currently, though, discount pricing brings the G14 to $849 at Best Buy for the base model config. Measuring 12. 8x8. 7x0. 7 inches, the compact Zephyrus G14 weighs just 3. 5 pounds, making it the smallest and lightest gaming laptop on the market. The computer owes its light weight to the materials that make up its sleek body, with rigid magnesium and aluminum, used for the chassis, deck and lid. The Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 is an impressive 14-inch gaming laptop that delivers on several fronts, with great performance, incredible battery life and unbeatable portability. At Number 6. Apple MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro 13-inch may not be the first Apple 13-inch Pro refresh to come out in 2020. However, unlike its predecessor, which only received some minor refinements, this latest model has been a groundbreaking release. According to the company, the chip should enable the MacBook Pro 13-inch to have better battery life and performance compared to the prior model packing Intel. The MacBook Pro 13-inch is another exciting reinvention of the MacBook Pro line. While the refresh of the 16-inch model last year was more about the revolution in form factor, with a larger screen, better speakers and a new keyboard, in the case of the MacBook Pro 13-inch the revolution is all about what's inside. The M1 chip offers drastically improved performance and battery life, while being able to run existing Mac apps, brand new ones and iOS apps alike effortlessly, and the combination, along with the competitive price, is a real game-changer for a 13-inch productivity laptop. If you already love the look and feel of the MacBook Pro 13-inch, then you'll be very excited about this new one. However, we do wish Apple had been a bit more adventurous with the design. The MacBook Pro 13-inch is the most exciting laptop Apple has released in years. The new M1 chip offers exceptional battery life, and in our early testing performance has been excellent. It's just a shame about the old design. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. Acer Predator Triton 500. The Predator Triton 500 is Acer's flagship 15-inch gaming laptop, now updated for 2020. We praised it highly on its debut last year, and virtually all of what we loved is back with this year's model, but with updated components. Our test unit is a highly tricked-out configuration, so your model doesn't have to be quite so expensive, but it's very appealing to those who can afford it. Given that it is a premium laptop, even its starting price is high, but regardless of the configuration this well-made, 
portable, and feature-packed gaming rig remains one of our favorites, even if it doesn't unseat the editor's choice Asus ROG Zephyrus SGX502 for value. The chassis measures the same 0. 7 by 14. 1 by 10 inches and weighs 4. 63 pounds, also the same as its predecessor. The construction and size put the Triton 500 in the good company of some of our other favorite high-end laptops like the Razer Blade 15 and Asus ROG Zephyrus SGX502. The former comes in at 0. 7 by 14 by 9. 25 inches and 4. 6 pounds, while the latter is 0. 74 by 14. 2 by 9. 9 inches and 4. 55 pounds. These are the cream of the crop among high-end gaming laptops for design and performance, and the Triton 500 fits right in. The screen quality is good, with a matte finish that cuts down on reflections and high brightness at maximum level. The 1080p resolution makes sense, even if you may want a higher resolution in AAA games. The RTX 2080 Super GPU would be quite capable of respectable frame rates at 1440p, but that's still pretty strenuous, especially on a laptop. Acer opted to maximize frame rates in all cases, and I think that's the right call on a machine with a 300Hz screen. The Acer Predator Triton 500 is an attractive, feature-packed gaming laptop with a trim design and a cutting-edge higher refresh panel. Our hopped-up test unit is top-notch, but you might find better value in a model closer to its base configuration. Coming in at number 4 of my list. Microsoft Surface Laptop Go. Microsoft Surface lineup, long a showcase for the most advanced hardware design ideas in the Windows ecosystem, now welcomes a $549.99 laptop for the rest of us. With streamlined component configurations and the omission of some of the more futuristic Surface Laptop 3 features, the new Surface Laptop Go will appeal to price-sensitive buyers who need a sensible workhorse laptop for light computing tasks. The $699 configuration reviewed her is the best one for most people. It takes the laptop out of the cheap range and isn't quite as impressive on raw performance as similarly priced competitors with AMD Ryzen processors, but it's still a fine value for what it offers. The Surface Laptop Go is petite as modern laptops go, with a 12.4-inch display, but its physical design matches the rest of the Surface Laptop 3 family, which includes larger, pricier 13. 5-inch and 15-inch versions. The design includes an aluminum display lid and a polycarbonate base, available in your choice of three colors, ice blue, sandstone, and platinum. The entire package feels sturdy, well-engineered, and fitting of a laptop that costs more than its $699 asking price. On the inside, the Surface Laptop Go keeps things simple. There's a single processor option, an Intel Core i5, a clear indication that this laptop is not suited for power users. The $549.99 entry-level configuration of the laptop nets you 4GB of memory and a 64GB MK flash storage drive. We recommend stepping up from this configuration, if you can, since those amounts are paltry in today's world of ever-increasing program sizes. Although it's missing some nifty features from the pricier Surface Laptop 3, the Surface Laptop Go is what many people are looking for right now, a well-designed, lightweight laptop with adequate performance that won't break the bank. At number 3, Razer Blade 15. If you've seen one Razer Blade laptop in the past few years, you've essentially seen them all. The new Blade 15 Advanced is another one of those monochromatic monolithic machines milled out of aluminum, but this one is a beast on the inside, with enough year-to-year -year improvements elsewhere to be worthy of your attention. Gaming performance in this particular configuration is stellar for most titles, as is expected with the specs inside. My usual gamut of benchmarks include Remedies Control and Rocket League, the former being a game that can really push PCs to their limit, and the latter being a fast-paced game that requires precision that I also just happen to really enjoy playing. At their highest settings, Control ran at a smooth 110 frames per second, while Rocket League unsurprisingly clocked in higher with a steady 250 frames per second. Better yet, this display has a 300Hz refresh rate, so when games shot beyond 60 frames per second, it was definitely noticeable. 
If you're after a laptop that has an RTX 2080 Max-Q, it's likely you're interested in taking advantage of ray tracing features in games that support it. Fortunately, that's all possible here, but unfortunately, this is where it becomes fairly easy to spot this GPU's shortcomings. Moving on, I appreciate the Windows Hello webcam for quickly logging in with my face, but the camera quality is grainy with poor exposure. My basement studio apartment doesn't get much natural light, but it makes me look like I live in a cave. This isn't an anomaly in the world of gaming laptops, but in our current age of endless Zoom meetings, it'd be great if Razer made improvements here. A 1MP720P camera is laughable for a $3,000 laptop. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Coming at number 2, Apple MacBook Air. Apple is billing the MacBook Air as a radical reinvention of its thin and light laptop. This is because, unlike earlier models, the new MacBook Air ditches the Intel processor for Apple's own ARM-based chip, the new Apple M1. It also comes with MacOS 11 Big Sur pre-installed. According to Apple, this custom chip will allow the new MacBook Air to perform better and run longer while on battery, while bringing other big performance benefits too. Now that we've had the MacBook Air in our hands, we've been able to put those claims to the test. Launching for the same price as the previous model, Apple has made an incredibly compelling 13-inch laptop. For the same asking price, you're getting the refreshed model with Apple's new hardware, and while that doesn't mean the earlier MacBook Air model is now obsolete, if you were not entirely convinced by that release, then this new version may change your mind. Apple has also been accused of caring more about aesthetics of its products than the actual features and functions, but with the MacBook Air, we actually think the opposite is true. This is because, while the new MacBook Air has some huge changes on the inside, most noticeably the with new M1 chip, on the outside, nothing has really changed. The MacBook Air is easily one of the most exciting Apple laptops of recent years. Its M1 chip is a real game-changer and the ability to run both legacy apps, new M1 optimized apps and iOS apps is very impressive. Battery life is also great, and performance is excellent as well. And number 1. Dell XPS 7390. Best of the year 2019 bugs latest update to the Dell XPS 13 brings Intel's cutting-edge 10th generation processors to this venerable ultra-portable laptop. The rest of the machine, from its exterior styling to its crisp 4K display, is so good that Dell decided to leave it mostly untouched from its previous incarnations. In fact, its predecessor achieved a rare 5-star rating when we reviewed it in January. This one, which starts at $1,176 and is $1,764 as tested, now co-stars with the Razer Blade Stealth 13 as one of the two best ultra-portable laptops you can buy. Dell's flagship XPS Ultra Portable PCs come in either conventional clamshell form factors or two-in-one convertible designs, which feature rotating hinges that let them transform into tablets or allow them to be propped up as tensor easels on a table for easier video watching. You used to have to pay a significant weight and size penalty if you chose a two-in-one over a conventional laptop with the same screen size. That's not the case anymore, and certainly not with the current 13-inch Dell XPS lineup. The XPS 13 comes in a choice of three color schemes. You can choose an arctic white interior with either a frost or a rose gold exterior. Either of these two color choices are decidedly modern and stylish, at least compared with the more traditional third color option, flaunted by our review unit, platinum silver with a black carbon fiber interior. To see the differences for yourself, compare our image gallery of the current model with the previous one, decked out in arctic white. Packing Intel's latest 10th generation Comet Lake CPUs, the latest rev of Dell's XPS 13 is one of the most powerful and best designed ultra-portables you can buy. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.